Hi everyone, Sandy here, and I am ready to play. I just got my new um, kit from Scrapping for Less. This is my new card kit for this month, and um, I'm so excited. Let's get started. So I'm going to pull everything out of the package. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Oh, don't you love when you see those yellow envelopes in the mail? It's like Christmas. Now I get to play with this. <laughs> so this is my fun. This is the mommy time where all the kids are gone and it's just me and my goodies. So what I wanted to show you today is my easy standby card design. Now this card design that I'm going to do works for anything. You know, all you need is a couple pieces of paper and some circle, a circle punch and you're good to go. So I'm going to push all this stuff out of the way. that all over there. Okay, so what we need is we need our car base. So let me pull that up here. And I have a couple of these already cut. I just, here, let me show you. See, I just have them already cut, ready to go. Just grab what I need. And I'm going to score it in the middle at four and a quarter. And all I do is just take a regular, you know, eight and a half by 11. No. 8 by 11 and a half <laughs> um, cardstock and I just cut them in half so all I have to do is score and I'm good to go okay so let me show you what I do for this card now like I said this card is the standby when I want need to make a quick card I use this design so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the card this way horizontal and I'm going to grab out the pattern paper that I want to use and I think I want to use this orange textured paper it has like polka dots like that Swiss dot design so I want to use that and I'm going to grab a couple of the beads and we have to play with the stamps so we're going to do the stamps and the ribbon and that's that's it that's all I need okay so the rest of the stuff I'll put over to the side Okay, now for my basic card, this is it. The only other couple things I need to get, um, I need to get my tape that I want to use. I have my paper trimmer that I'm going to need to cut down my paper. And, oh, I want a couple circle punches. Now that I am going to grab out of my stash. So this one I like from EK Success. And let me get the other one. Well, that one's kind of small. Let me get a bigger one. There we go. That'll work. Will my trick-or-treat fit in there? Yep, it will. Okay, so there's two. This one's a Fisker's Punch. This one's an EK Success. So, kind of like a must-have in my craft st stash. So, I will pull these over to the side. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my stamping. And this will go relatively quick. I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this because all I'm going to do is just use um, these stamps that come. The little bat, the candy corn, and the trick or treat. So I'm going to use these ones right now, like the candy corn um, on the card.
and there you have it. This is my go-to quick design when I need to do a fast cart. Basically, all I need is um, some kind of design. You can do it either on the bottom or the top. You want a solid piece of cardstock in a coordinating color, and then a piece of ribbon or washi tape, something to help break it up and this to cover the seam where the two meet. Kind of think of it like a wallpaper border. And then for your embellishment, any kind of embellishment will work. Um, you can use pre-made stickers, uh, die cuts, anything you want to put it off to the side. And I just wanted to use the cute little bats. And I found these little cute googly eyes. Let me show them. As I was doing this, I was uh, starting to make this in mind of who I wanted to give this card to. And there's two little girls, um, sisters, that I want to give this one to. So that's why I did the two. And I decided I'm going to do googly eyes. So, and then I did put some of the dots that came in the kit. I just wanted to use them. <laughs> so as you can see, that's kind of off-centered and you have some clear space here. Now what's nice about this card design is it can be flipped. I could have took and did all this and put it over on this side instead. I could go ahead and go like this. All I have to do is just kind of move that over a little bit and put it down in the corner. Or I could even go um, flip it this way, put my embellishment, my ribbon, then put a sentiment down here, put it like a picture, like a little digi stamp or something. And then finally what I could do is I could flip this whole thing around where I have the pattern paper either on the bottom or the top and I could have had it up and down. So I think I'm going to make another one like this. Um, going the other way and then you can kind of see how I did both the cards so like I said if you are starting off with cards this is a very easy card design to remember and to uh, make your cards I know when I started it was like okay well what am I gonna do how do I want to design my card and uh, this is my go-to one so I hope you like this video I hope you like the card design, like I said, this is more of the beginners on how to make a card, and I am really liking my um, card kit. So if you want to see where you can get this card kit out, I'll put all the information in the description below. So I hope you uh, subscribe and like this video. Until next time, bye-bye.